What's going on guys? The Comics Kid 2099 here. Welcome to day 101 of the 365 day graphic novel review challenge. Today I want to talk to you about another Star Wars book. This is Poe Dameron, Black Squadron. This is a six issue storyline that is pretty much a direct prequel to Star Wars The Force Awakens. Uh, this features the character of Poe Dameron putting together a uh, group of pilots who are the best pilots in the Resistance to look for the character played by Max von Sydow from uh, The Force Awakens. And as we know from The Force Awakens, they eventually find that guy. Uh, this is their adventures in trying to find that guy and uh, how they get into lots of trouble along the way. And my big problem with the character of Poe Dameron from the movie was that everyone wanted to drop their panties at the mere sight of this character and I just didn't find him to be very interesting. Now I think that Oscar Isaac is a fantastic actor in just about everything I've seen him in. He does really good and he definitely brought everything to that character in the movie. Uh, any personality, any depth to the character of Poe Dameron was all from Oscar Isaac. If you look at the script of The Force Awakens, uh, the character of Poe was completely less than one-dimensional, not even one-dimensional. That would be a compliment to say that the character was one-dimensional. Oscar Isaac brought everything that is there to that character. The problem is, there's still not a whole lot to that character. Uh, he's gone for like three-fourths of the movie, and so he's just kind of an empty vessel that helps the plot move along. And I was hoping whenever I read this book that this would make me care a little bit more about Poe Dameron. And unfortunately, it doesn't really do that. This basically just makes him a roguish pilot character. Uh, he's kind of like Han Solo, but a little bit more by the book. Uh, there's not really a whole lot added to the character of Poe Dameron here. And I have a feeling that's because they want to let the movies flesh out this character. They don't want to do a whole lot of work fleshing this character out and then watch the next Star Wars movie that has Poe Dameron wreck all of that and do something totally different. So I kind of understand why they're not fleshing this character out, but it still bugs me that this is a character that for some reason everyone loves, but there's really nothing to his character. Uh, having said that, I still enjoyed this book. I really like the stories that we get to see Poe and the Black Squadron get into. Uh, we get to see them get into all kinds of crazy trouble uh, trying to find Max von Sydow's character. And uh, some of the stories here are really awesome and they work and they feel like they belong in a Star Wars universe. And at least one of the stories here does not. Uh, there's one where they are in this underground cavern and there's this cult that worships this egg and it hatches this giant bat creature that they worship as a god. Uh, that does not feel like it belongs in the Star Wars universe. That kind of creature doesn't really look like it belongs in the Star Wars universe. That looks like something that would happen in a Star Trek episode. Uh, so that was a little weird. But then the next story that we have is Poe and his group infiltrating a prison trying to break out a hut so that he can tell them where uh, Max von Sydow is now. And uh, I like that one a lot more. I wish that was just the plot of the entire book. Uh, but I'm not really sure how long this series is going. I don't think that this is a mini-series because it has this subplot that's being hinted at throughout this book that's never resolved in this book, and then it ends on a little bit of a cliffhanger. Uh, one of the characters in this book is probably a traitor. Uh, that's kind of where they're going with this because uh, this one guy works Working with the First Order, uh, he is also looking for Max von Sydow's character, and uh, every time that they think that they're ahead of him, it turns out that he's one step ahead of them, and Poe suspects that one of the Black Squadron is feeding him information. And I honestly have no idea who it is, uh, because all these guys were, I guess, in the Force Awakens movie, and the only one that I actually remember from being in the Force Awakens was the guy played by Matt Parkman from Heroes. All these other guys, I don't remember them from the movie. Uh, they must not have had a whole lot of memorable presence in the movie. And I won't say that Matt Parkman did either, but I recognize that actor. Uh, so any one of these guys could be the traitor uh, giving information to the force First Order. Uh, I don't know, uh, but I'm assuming that that will be uh, tied up in a later volume of this series. But if you are interested in reading more about this character, which... I don't really know why you would. Uh, that's not an insult to anyone who likes this character. I just don't understand why people like him. Uh, but if you are interested in reading more about this character, I would suggest reading Poe Dameron, The Black Squadron, Volume 1. Uh, it's not a bad story. Uh, mainly my big problem with it is that the main character doesn't really feel very interesting. He just kind of feels hollow. And I kind of understand why they did that. I just wish that they didn't do that. Uh, but I like the stories here, or at least one half of the stories here. And I liked uh, the... Uh, the ongoing subplot of the traitor in the group. Uh, so really, it's not a bad book. Uh, it's just not the best book, I guess, is where I'm coming down on this. Uh, so those are my thoughts on Poe Dameron Black Squadron. I hope that you guys liked this video. And if you did, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will be back tomorrow with a different kind of video. In the meantime, you guys have a great rest of your day. Catch you later.